you guys in this video i'm going to show you how to cut and sew this rose sleeve okay let's get into it so i'm starting with my basic long sleeve pattern if you don't know how to draft a long sleeve pattern i have a detailed tutorial check the link in the description box so that is my upper arm point my elbow point and the bottom is the wrist okay or some people call it length of sleeve okay now you're going to grab any scrap scrap uh, pattern paper you have or a full pattern paper and the next thing i went ahead to do was to place the basic long sleeve pattern on this scrap pattern paper i made sure that my elbow point aligned with the base of the pattern paper then I went ahead to secure with office pin. After securing with office pin, the next thing I went ahead to do is from that point, I went ahead to mark 15 inches. Now I had to change angle so you guys would see me very, very well. So I extended my tape backwards and I marked 15 inches at the bottom and also at the top. Okay, so after doing this, I connected my markings with a straight line. I'm just trying to get like a box here. Okay, so after doing this, the next thing I went ahead to do was to cut out the excess fabric sorry not fabric pattern paper that i did not need is not needed so you take it out okay so after doing this the next thing i went ahead to do was to connect my points now i'm going to show you the point i'm going to connect see those two points yes is it diagonal yeah so i just connected my two points forming a triangle i think this is a right angle tri not right angle anyway this is a triangle okay so i just went ahead to draw a diagonal line and this is what we have going on here guys so this is what we have going on here after doing this the next thing i went ahead to do was to cut okay so i went ahead to cut the sides after cutting see i cut that top part away because we don't need it then i cut the sides and i just traced out my ample my sleeve um outline okay so this is what we have here for the pattern of this rose sleeve okay so this is what we have going on here i'm showing you another angle because it's beautiful the next thing i went ahead to do now is to fold my fabric into two i'm working with the white fabric because I wanted to attach this thing to a white uh, lace okay so my fabric is already on a fold the next thing i went ahead to do was to align you see that triangular part i aligned it to the fold then i went ahead to secure with office pins now this sleeve was inspired by vicky james she wore it for one of the looks for her wedding and she came out so beautiful and it came out so beautiful on her okay now um this is what it looks like so after aligning, the next thing I went ahead to do was to cut it out and I cut two pieces, okay, for the boot sleeve. So after cutting this, I'll cut another piece, okay? Now it's time to cut this, um, the lining for this sleeve. Some people go ahead to use same, you know, the way it is for the main piece. They use it, the pattern like that for the lining. But me, I like to fold it back into my normal basic sleeve and cut the lining so which is what i did here i folded that rose um, extension then i went ahead to cut if you guys are here mommy alex mommy alex my neighbor's children are in my flat plane and guys it is chaos okay so after placing the pattern i went ahead to cut one piece i also went ahead to cut another piece that's for the second sleeve okay so this is the main piece you can see that i've drawn out the line where i'm going to sew on because this is a white fabric okay i wanted you guys to see the seam we are going to join the petal extension and the sleeve okay so this is the other side i anyway i'm just showing you different different angles <laughs> so this is the two pieces together okay so i took it back to my sewing table and i went ahead to join the sleeve you see those lines i showed you that was on those lines i made my stitches after stitching, I went ahead to take out the pin. Then I went ahead to see, you see that angle. I went ahead to cut it open, just just to slit it a little bit. Then I took it and placed it on my ironing rag. That's what I like to call it. Okay, I opened it up a little bit. Then I used my screwdriver to push out that petal extension because you need to iron it. Hmm? Some people might not iron, but me, I always like to iron so that everything will be well relaxed and put together. So I went ahead to give it a very good press. If I'm out of breath, guys, I'm actually out of breath. I'm juggling, cooking, looking at the kids that came to play with Alex. That my, my, that's my baby. And I'm also here doing voiceover for you guys. Anyway, I just give it a really, really good press. 
and the next thing i went ahead to do you see that angled point that's for the petal i went ahead to cut it now to form the rows you're just going to see what i'm doing that is what you're going to do more like you're trying to unfold the extension but you are going to be like pleating it more like folding it with your hands and this is all we have here very simple very straightforward but we are not done we still have a lot of things to do so i went ahead to do it for the second piece too you can see the hand movement i'm doing okay which is what you are going to do and this is how the beautiful rose um sleeve looks like you can see it's very simple it's very straightforward I'm just using my finger to adjust. You can use your hands to adjust the rules the way you want. The next thing you must do is you must go ahead to secure those pleats, those fold with your office pins. Okay. Some people don't secure, but me, I like to secure. So after securing, this is what the two pieces look like. Okay. This is what they look like. After securing with pins, you want to make sure you have all the, all the folds in place. Next thing I went ahead to do is to use my needle and my thread to make single, single stitches. Okay. Single, single stitches across, around the whole rows to hold everything in place. Okay. I made single, single stitches to hold all the roses in place. And this is what we have here. So after doing that, the next thing I went ahead to do was to grab my lining piece. I placed my lining piece on the main piece and I joined it at the hem. So I took it over to my sewing machine. I joined it at the hem. After joining it at the hem, I grabbed my hemming gum and I also attached my hemming gum to the hem as well. See guys, the funny thing about this tutorial is I saw something like this on Instagram just before Vicky James. That's the person who inspired this tutorial with her wedding looks, the outfit she wore for her wedding, just before she dropped her wedding look, like pictures. So I'm surprised when I said, I'm like, oh, I've seen something like this. That's the power of AI and the internet. So the next thing I went ahead to do was to give the hem a good press to seal the lining and the main piece together. Now, after doing this, the next thing I went ahead to do is I'm going to understitch the lining and the main piece together. If you don't want to understitch, you can still use your hemming gum to do this part, okay? So I went ahead to understitch. You people, you people have warned me to stop saying top stitch. So guys, I went ahead to understitch. Then I went ahead to cut the excess lining that I did not need. And I'm sure you too, you will not need it when you're doing your own. <laughs> so after doing this, I took out the office pins. Then I went ahead to place, to fold the sleeve into two. After folding the sleeve into two, I'm going to join. Okay. So I went ahead to mark out my seam allowance. And guys, I joined. Like my life depended on it. <laughs> so after joining, this is what we have here, guys. I went ahead to turn it over. I went ahead to turn it over. You want to make sure all the appropriate places are out. And this is what the rose sleeve looks like. Now, I taped it to my mannequin because the blouse I was supposed to attach it to is not here ready. But this is the simplest way, the fastest way, and the easiest way to make your very own rose sleeve. Okay, like I said, this look was inspired by Vicky James. That's the picture I used in front. That's the tutorial was inspired by her. I don't know what kind of English I'm speaking. was inspired by her. And if you check on Pinterest and Instagram and TikTok, you'll see a lot of tutorials on this, even prior to her wedding. So when it comes to creativity, you can pick inspiration from anywhere. She's not the originator of this sleeve, but she redesigned it and redefined it in her own traditional look and it looked so beautiful so let me know if you try it out and i'll see you in my next video bye